Strength all the units in AP Macro by difficulty, starting off with Unit 1, Basic Economic Concepts. This one's going in the too easy category. It's pretty much common sense. Um, you'll learn about a couple things like Comparative Advantage, tons of overlap with the AP Micro Unit 1. Now, Unit 2, Economic Indicators in the Business Cycle. This one is pretty formula heavy. You learn about the idea of GDP, real versus nominal GDP, and also the idea of the business cycle. So a lot of it is sort of conceptual that sets you up for success in the future units, but this one's going in the light work category. Now, Unit 3 is where you get into more of typical macro stuff. You're going to learn about aggregate demand, short-run aggregate supply, long-run long aggregate supply, and you actually start drawing those graphs. So this one, I would say, definitely is in the mid category, but once you get good at it, um, you should be perfectly fine. This is also where you start learning conceptually about fiscal policy and monetary policy, which you actually do mathematically with the calculations in Unit 4. Unit 4 is probably by far the hardest unit. I'm going to put this in the considered dropping category. Uh, unit 4, you have to deal with a ton of stuff like monetary policy and actually the different things that affect it, like reserve requirements, uh, buying and selling bonds, and also bank balance sheets. Thankfully, I didn't show up as an FRQ because I still do not to this day understand bank balance sheets. Um, but yeah, let's move on to Unit 5. Unit 5 is pretty similar. It's sort of like an extension of Unit 3. So if you understand Unit 3, you should be fine for Unit 5. You're going to learn a couple more things, and most notably the Phillips curve, which is just another graph. Now, Unit 6, Forex, is where you deal with foreign exchange. This one is also quite a difficult uh, unit. It is definitely going to be in the considered dropping category, but under the Unit 4 financial sector.